said that. Hello. <gasps> you can talk. Hello, of course. It's all he ever does. How lovely to make your acquaintance. Want to see me do a trick? What happens when the last petal falls? The Nastel remains a beast forever. And we become antiques. What did you do to it? Nothing. I really loved the three new songs of the Thank of the you. movie. Yeah, Thank I you thought they way. they are a, a resemblance of, of what they were in the, the others in the in the classic. They maintain the, the level. I want to know if uh, it uh, if the, you mm, composed it uh, from scratch. Did you use some things uh, that were discarded from the first movie? No, no. no. Um, oh well, there were lyrics. Oh, everything. There the, were lyrics that the, were from the, the original. Ideas, yeah. yeah, there were lyrics that, that, we, that Howard Ashman had written that we didn't use that we put the guest on. Mm -hmm. But no, the music was, was obviously all new. Um, and the, um, the impetus you know, for, for those choices just came from uh, discussions with Bill Condon about what we wanted to add to, them, to the story and giving it more of a sense of rootedness in the 18th century and in France. Um, more of a, of a sort of discovery of, of Belle and Maurice's backstory, and that led us to, you know, the, the new songs and, and some of the new textures we added. Uh, well, you're the composer of uh, a lot of great, uh, iconic Disney soundtracks. I personally, as a fan, I'd like to know uh, which one is the, the, the song that you're most proud of, uh, <laughs> of all your work with Disney. I can't... Uh, you can't pick you know the, I the, can't your children. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly, I can't. Yeah. I wish I could, but I can't because I don't even... I don't feel that way. Mm -hmm. They're all different. It's, it's part of a mosaic, you know. Which, which key is your favorite key on the piano? Yeah. It's, it's a tough, tough yeah. question, yeah. Um, I'd like to know how was uh, uh, work uh, with Celine Dion again uh, for one of the songs. I was so thrilled that Celine came and was willing to record. You know, the song "Had Does a Moment Last Forever," um, and I think it had extra meaning because you know Celine had recently lost Renee, her husband, of so many years, and I, they had a wonderful relationship. And she, I think she found some meaning that that really resonated with what she's been going through in this song, and so I was really gratified by that. Well, uh, it's not the first time uh, Beauty and the Beast is revised, because it was revived for, for theater, for Broadway, yeah. 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 How do you feel when they approach you and tell you, eh, we're doing another, uh, another version in the cinema? Thing. Yeah, it's, um, you know, on the one hand, it's, it's, it's exciting because it, it reflects that there's a lot of life you know, in this property, and they want more. Mm -hmm. um, and in another sense, it's um, a little scary because mm -hmm. you don't know well, who's going to be my collaborator. You know, um, yeah. am I going to be able to maintain the essence of what I want to do, or am I going to have battles where I, you know, someone wants to reinvent the wheel? Make no mistake, it's work, yeah. <laughs> and it's. Um, and there is involved with it uncertainty, um, but it, it, it gets a lot easier when you're working with someone like Bill Condon, who's a um, brilliant director and writer, and someone who loves musical theater and loves the original. You know that makes it that makes it much easier, and I, I'm able to step back and go, okay, um, I'm in good hands here with this director, and now I'm going to contribute. Um, but I don't have to carry the entire weight. Uh, well, in fact, uh, there are mm, there have been talks about another uh, version of Mermaid of Aladdin, of a uh, little shop, the Enchanted, and uh, I do Enchanted. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if you're going to be very busy because I don't know if you're going to be involved like the like in. This I movie. intend to be involved with all those mm -hmm. projects um, as much as possible. Mm -hmm. um, so I, yes, I spoke. Expect I will be busy. Then again, you know, let's see what happens mm -hmm. because, you know, as I'm sure people know or maybe don't know, projects get announced and they get developed, but there's a point that's called greenlit. Yeah. And when, you, when you're being greenlit, it means you're going into production, the money's being approved, the contracts, you know, are, are set and boom. And, you know, studios are wary about 
you know, saying those words until they're absolutely ready to go ahead and do it. And that, uh, has any of these projects have uh, green light? Uh, yeah, or, nope, or not yet. No, they're they're only they're they're, they're okay. working towards it. Um, so at the moment, I'm <clears throat> it's like a a storm on the horizon, yeah. ready to come, but. <laughs> A, a good storm. <laughs> okay. Well, I I was uh, listening when I was uh, waiting. Yeah. Uh, you playing the piano. Uh, I what would I you like to hear? <laughs> what would you like to hear? Oh, I don't know. Uh, surprise. The rest soup to show her auto d'oeuvre. Why we only live to serve? Try the great stuff, it's delicious. Don't believe me? Ask the dishes. They can sing, they can dance. If they're all Mrs. friends, then a dinner here is never second best. Go on, unfold your menu, take a glass, and then you'll be our guest. We are guests, be our guest. Oh, Thanks a lot. No. Prefer to be on.